Hi, I'll bet you've been hearing the news about how Google Photos will be free no more. I'm here to tell you that it's not that big of a deal and we are going to give you the facts. Exactly what is changing on June 1? What, if anything, do you need to do? And what else is changing? I'm Chris. And I'm Jen. And we are geeks on tour. And we can prove that we're geeks because <laughs> we wear these funny hats. And another word for a geek <laughs> is a propeller head. Okay, so, but we are geeks who teach. And Google Photos is a real specialty of ours. I am a product expert designated by Google and I wrote a book on Google Photos called Learn Google Photos, and it's available at Amazon. But let's get right into this issue of what's changing on June 1. The bad news is that free unlimited storage for high quality photos and videos is coming to an end. That is a drag. It's been really nice to have unlimited free storage, but there's good news. All the content uploaded in high quality before June 1 is stored for free and it will be continued to store for free after June 1. So the only thing that changes is what you upload after June 1. Here's all the details. Every Google account is given 15 gigabytes of free storage. That's shared between Google Photos, Gmail, and Google Drive. In Google Photos, you have the option of uploading in high quality or original quality. High quality is compressed and takes up less space. We think it's a great way to go. Right now, before June 1, 2021, if you upload in high quality, it just doesn't count. It's zero storage against your 15 gigabytes allotment. After June 1, that's what changes. Newly uploaded high quality content will count against your allotment. But not everybody. Yeah, I have the Pixel phone. It's a Pixel 4 XL and I get high quality and that won't change after June 1st, right? Right. Your still will not count. You are exempt. Okay. Because as long as you are using your Pixel phone, high quality will remain at no charge. So get the details for your account. If you go to photos.google.com and click on the gear for settings, you should see this update that says, has a link to learn more. And if you click there, you will see information specific to your account that your existing photos and videos won't be affected. And based on your usage, you'll see an estimate there of how long your 15 gigabytes will even last. This particular user, it's estimated that the 15 gigabytes will last for four years based on their current usage patterns. So what do you need to do? First of all, don't panic. Listen to our friend here, Helpful Harry. Relax, calm down now. Don't stress. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy, don't panic. You don't need to do anything. Everything that is in place on June on May 31st will be the same on June 1. It's only newly uploaded photos that change. All content you have stored for free on June 1 will be stored for free on June 2 and beyond. You still have the 15 gigabytes of free storage too. If you want to take advantage of more free storage before June 1, I have two things for you to do. Number one, Upload all those pictures that you've been putting off. You know, upload everything you can think of in high quality and they will be stored for free forever. Number two, recover storage. And I will explain what that means. You should be at zero, Google Photos should be at zero storage used on June 1. So uploading everything, what do I mean? I mean, uploading all the photos and videos on your computer. If you haven't done it yet and you have thousands of photos on your computer, this is the time. 
How about old USB drives or CDs? Maybe even digitize old slides and, and prints and VCR tapes. But primarily I'm talking about all those digital photos that are on your computer. And there's two main types of ways to do that, manual and automatic. On the manual, I think the manual is best because you have more control. You can either start at Google Photos and use the upload button. I call that the pull method. You start at the destination and you go get the photos. Or you can start at your computer files and use drag and drop, push them. And I want to do a little demo of this. So we're going to go to my computer. I have a hard drive here and I have lots of photos on this. I've already uploaded them, but I'm just going to show you one example of a folder on the hard drive that I'm going to import to my Google Photos. So I go to, this is the pull method, I go to photos.google.com and I click on this little upload button and I'm going to upload from my computer. I navigate to that hard drive and I have this photo called Photos from Friends and it's this one here, Martin Ham Radio there's about a dozen photos in here. I could, I could just select one or two, but control A will select them all, or that would be a command A on a Mac. And then I click open and they start uploading to my Google photos, 12 pictures. The beauty of doing the manual method is when it's done, I get the option to add to an album. And I'm just going to call this new album a demo album. And demo uploads and check mark. The second way is to push. So here I have a thumb drive. Let's say somebody gave me this thumb drive and says, here are the pictures you wanted. How do I get them into my Google Photos? Well, first I will connect the thumb drive to the computer. And something pops up that offers to copy pictures from that thumb drive to my computer. I don't want that. I don't want these on my computer. I want to get them straight from the thumb drive up to Google Photos. I'm going to do that using the files and folders and my push method, drag and drop. So I, I open Windows files and folders. That would be the finder on Macintosh. And I find that thumb drive, the USB drive right there. And here is the folder of pictures that I want to upload to Google Photos. Just this one called Panoramio. I need to get my Google Photos appearing on the same screen here. So I just, so do you see what I did there? My files is in this window, but behind here is my Google Photos. So I can just drag and drop the whole folder. Notice I dragged and dropped it right into the album called Demo Upload. So now those three photos from Panoramio are part of the album that I just made with the previous upload. That is what I mean by having control. Okay, so that's the manual method of uploading pictures, either by, with the pull method or the push. But what if you have thousands of pictures in maybe hundreds of folders? That would just be too much work. So for that, you do need a piece of software called Backup and Sync. And so you need Google Backup and Sync. That's what it looks like. It's that little blue icon with the cloud in the up arrow. You get it at photos.google.com slash apps. And I'm going to show you how. So here I am at my Google Photos and it's still under this upload. And instead of from computer or from Google Drive, I'm going to get the Backup and Sync software. And notice where it takes me, photos.google.com slash apps and download. 
save. You know the drill for downloading and installing software. Once it's done, I open it. Say yes. And here we are. Get started. You have to log into your account that you want to use here. This is where your photos will be uploaded to. They'll be uploaded to this account. Once you've logged in, then you have to follow the, the steps for setting it up. Do you want to back up photos and videos or all file types? The odd thing to understand is that this software is actually a Google Drive utility. So it's going to back up to Google Drive Regardless, if you want photos backed up to Google Photos, you make sure to select that option. And next, now here's the important part. Where are the photos that you want backed up? I, mine are not on the desktop. They are not in documents. They are in pictures on my computer. They're also on my external hard drive. So I use this choose folder to specify that. Make sure to select high quality. That is what will get you free storage before June 1 and reduced storage after June 1. And when you click start, they'll start going. This might take several days, depending on how many photos you have, and you'll need to check on it once in a while, make sure that your computer stays on and it is working. Once it's going, you will see this little cloud icon with the swirling arrows in the lower right-hand corner. That is your Google Backup and Sync software. So that was the Backup and Sync software that will get all of your photos from your computer automatically, but you will not have any albums. It just grabs all the photos out of your folders, puts them into Google Photos in one giant stream by date. All of this comes from my book, Learn Google Photos. Chapter three is all about collecting the rest of your life's photos and videos. The second thing that you should do before June 1, if you want to take advantage of the free storage, is what's called Recover Storage. Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour and Learn Google Photos. And this video is about how to recover storage from your Google Cloud Storage allotment. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you go to one.google.com, that is where you will see the storage that you are using with Google. You click right here where it says storage and you get 15 gigabytes of free storage but it is shared by Google Drive, Gmail, and Google Photos. Now this says that Google Photos is using 0.32 gigabytes but if you use high quality before June 1, 20. 21, this should be at zero. So how do we recover that third of a gigabyte? Well, if you go to Google Photos and click on the gear wheel, the settings icon, you should see recover storage. Notice it says high quality here, but since there is some storage being used at some point in time, some photos must have gotten uploaded in original size, but you can retroactively compress those by clicking recover storage. So recover 331 megabytes by compressing. Yes, compress may take over an hour. All right. I just click compress and then we wait. So I don't know how long that took because I just left it overnight, but here I am back at one.google.com logged in as the same account. And if I click on storage, it now says that Google Photos is taking zero gigabytes. 
this is what you want before June 21, 2021. What if you don't have a button that says recover storage? I'm in Jim's account now. I click on the little gear and where it said recover storage, it now says manage subscription. Let me explain. Here in Google One for his account, it says you've got 104 gigabytes of storage. That means that he's paying for the extra storage, but he still wants Google Photos to be taking up zero space. And right now it's at 6.46 gigabytes. So how do we recover that? Back to Google Photos and in the gear, all he has to do is click on high quality and it will prompt him to recover six and a half gigabytes of Google account storage. If yours was already on high quality, then just click original and click high quality and you will get that prompt as well. If you want to take advantage of the free storage, upload everything now and make sure to run that recover storage procedure before June 1. Now, how much does it cost? The pricing for Google Photos is just not bad at all, I don't think. $2 a month or $20 a year for 100 gigabytes, and then $3 or $30 a year for 200. Two terabytes, which I would consider to be unlimited, is just $100 a year, 10 bucks a month. Nothing else can beat that and have all the features that Google Photos has. If you don't believe me <laughs> and you still want to have alternatives, here are the ones that are at all close. Flickr, Amazon Prime, and Microsoft OneDrive. But as I say, Google Photos is the only one that was built from the ground up to be your one home for your lifetime of photos. Microsoft is built to be a file storage, an online file storage. Amazon Prime is probably the closest thing to Google Photos, but it still doesn't have near the features and you have to be a Prime member and you still don't get video cover, uh, storage for anything less than five gigabytes. Still want to quit? You still don't believe me and you want to quit? And some people are. I don't think it's right, but if you are going to quit, make sure that you have all your photos and videos from your Google Photos account somewhere else. And Google's option for doing that is called takeout.com. You can either download everything to your computer or you can transfer to Flickr, OneDrive, or smug mug those are kind of in beta though right now but it's it's worth a shot what else is going to be changing i actually think google photos is going to continue to improve now that they are on this freemium model meaning you have the free tier completely free for up to 15 gigabytes but if you choose to pay for more storage you become a google one member and Google One members get lots of perks. They get phone support. You actually get support with Google just by the $2 a month to make you a Google One member. And I am starting to see new features, new editing features, for example, on my Android phone that are only for Google One members. So it's gonna keep getting better. Google Photos is still the best. And it's going to keep getting better. And we agree. <laughs> okay. That's it for us. I'm Jim. I'm Chris. We're Geeks on Tour.